Genesis chapter 24, verses 42 through 67, part 4. I came today to the well and said, O Lord, God of my master Abraham, if you cause, if you now cause me to go on my prostrate, see, I am standing by the well water. Now let it be that when the maiden comes out and draw water, I say here, I pray you, give me a little water from your water jar to drink. And if she says, you drink, I will draw water for your camels also. Let that same woman be the one who the Lord has selected and indicated for my master's son. Before I had finished praying in my heart, behold, Rebecca came out with her water jar on her shoulder, and she went down to the well and drew water. And I said to her, I pray you, let me have a drink. And, the, and she quickly let down her, her water jar from her shoulder and said, Drink, and I will water your camels also. So I drank, and she gave the camels drink also. I asked her, Whose daughter are you? She said, Daughter of Penuel, name her son, who Michal bore him. And I put the earring and nose ring on my on her face and a bracelet on her arm. I bowed down my head and worshiped the Lord and blessed the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, who had led me to, in the right way to take my master's brother's daughter to his son. And if you will if you will deal kindly and truly with my master, tell me, if not tell me that I may turn to the right or to the left. And the Nabam and Renewal answered, the, the thing comes forth from the Lord. He cannot speak bad or good to you. Rebecca is before you. Take her and go. Let her be the wife of your master's son, the Lord has said. When Abraham's servant heard their words, he bowed himself to the ground before the Lord. And the servant brought out jewels of silver, jewels of gold, garments, and gave them to Rebekah. He also gave precious things to her brother and her mother. Then they drank, ate and drank, and he and his men were with him. He stayed there all night. And in the morning they arose, and he, he said, Send me away to my master's. But Rebecca's brother, mother, said, Let the girl stay with us a few days, at least ten, then she can go. But the servant said to them, Do not hinder or delay me, seeing that the Lord has caused me great prosperity on my way. Send me away, that I may go to my master. And they said, I will call the girl and ask her her desires. So they called Rebecca said to her, Will you go with this man? And she said, I will go. So they sent away Rebecca, this sister, and nurse Deborah, and Abraham's servant, and his men. And Rebecca, and they blessed Rebecca, and said to her, You are our sister. May you become the mother of thousands and tens of thousands. Let your prosperity process the gates of enemies. And Rebecca and her maids arose, followed by men upon the camels. Thus the servant took Rebecca and went his own way. Now Isaac had returned from going to the well, but while Harari, for he dwelled in the south country of Negev. And Isaac went out to meditate and bow down in prayer. In the, open in the open country in Nimi, he looked up and saw that, behold, the camels were coming. And Rebekah looked up, and when, he saw, when, she, when she saw Isaac, she dismounted from the camel. For she had said to her servant, Who is the man walking across the field to meet us? The servant had said, he is my master. So she took a veil and concealed herself with it. And the servant 
told Isaac everything that he had done. Isaac brought her into his mother's tent, and he took Rebecca, and she became his wife. She loved her. Thus Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. God is so good. He gives us what we need and sometimes what we want. And um, whatever happens, God is in control. God loves us. So keep looking up, keep trusting God, and putting God first. And have a blessed day. Thank you.